just because the design is done doesn't mean the project is over. The real part starts here. From now on, it's not about keyboard and mouse anymore, it's just me versus aluminum pipes. To be honest, when I first saw all the materials, I kind of regretted it. Like, am I seriously going to build this? Today's tools, a grinder, a tape measure, a marker, and a welder. That's it. At first glance, uh, it uh, doesn't look like much. Uh, just a few aluminum pipes and plates. But here's the scary part. If I mess up even once, everything's ruined. People say, just follow the drawings easy, right? Number reality is absolutely different. Even getting a perfect 90 degree angle with pipes pure hell. If the pipes slightly bent, if the cut isn't perfect, your whole frame twists down the line. That's why I measured, marked, and remeasured like 10 times. Now it's grinder time. Aluminum dust flying everywhere. That smell? Yeah. Guaranteed shower tonight. Cutting aluminum isn't as easy as it looks. No CNC here, no fancy tools, just me and sparks flying everywhere. The scariest part, if you cut even a little bit crooked, the other side ends up way off. So every time I cut a pipe, I have that moment like, wait, this isn't right. The grinder literally became my best friend. I burned through like three discs today. Alright, now comes tack welding. This is like playing with fragile Lego blocks. I don't have any jig. Why? No money, no time. My hands are the jig, my eyes are the jig, my body is the jig. Hold it with my knee, adjust it with my hand, weld with the other hand. Real life maker style. And the worst sound is that the moment I hear that, yeah, messed it up. Now it's time for full welding. Aluminum is just crazy when it comes to heat. Too much heat, twisted, not enough heat, no fusion, too much, big hole. Long seams always end up twisted by the time you're done. So it was full weld, check dimensions, scream internally, cut and fix, repeat forever. Sometimes I seriously thought maybe it'd be faster to just start over and here comes every DIY makers nightmare twisting standard bulging bonus doesn't fit of course Cut it, grind it, cut it again, grind it again. Some days I just spent the whole day on the grinder. But honestly, I kind of liked it. This is what it really feels like to build something by hand. Perfect CNC parts. Clean but boring. This thing um, covered in my blood, sweat, and stupidity. And after fighting like that for days, somehow the frame stands. Seeing it upright for the first time, 
feels unreal. It was painful, exhausting, frustrating, but at the same time, this is my machine. Uh, and so this frame is finally complete. Honestly, while I was working on this, I had all kinds of thoughts running through my head. When you're designing in CAD, you never really feel this stuff. That one line, that one dimension on the screen, everything looks so simple, so obvious. But once you start building it in, in real life, everything is a problem. Cutting, welding, realizing it's twisted, grinding it down, welding again, changing out grinder discs over and over, letting overheated pipes cool down again and again and again. It almost felt ridiculous just how long I was stuck working on a single frame. But I think this is exactly the process only people who actually build things understand. Doesn't matter what you call it. Engineer, maker, builder, technician. This is what we really do. Is it perfect? No way. Honestly, if you look closely, there are scratches everywhere. None of it looks CNC processed clean. And uh, yeah, it totally looks handmade. But to me, that's exactly why I like it. This is 100% my work built entirely by my own hands and now this is where the real battle begins motors have to go on batteries need to get mounted electronics wiring ESC placement data lines BMS connections honestly getting to this point was already brutal but what comes next that's a whole new level but that's also exactly what makes it fun what started out as just build a drone has slowly turned into something else entirely. Time, frustration, mistakes, experience, it's all packed into this frame now. It's way more than just hardware at this point. Right now it's just a frame. But from here on, I'm going to show you exactly how this thing slowly becomes a real flying machine. This project, from start to finish, no matter how ugly, no matter how many mistakes, I'm going to show everything. And to be honest, the next part is going to be pure chaos. Stay tuned.